Good morning, folks. This is Michelle Allman, CEO and company cheerleader for Clear Digital Media, your resource for digital content marketing. In this next series, we're going to talk about charm and communication skills that make a difference in every business. Today, we're going to discuss low value behaviors and keep you from that keep you from connecting with others. Which of these three people would you rather hang out with? First, the one who constantly is begging for your attention by agreeing with everything you say and trying too hard to please, or the one who is always shooting down everything you say and talking down to you dismissively. And finally, the one who is always trying to one up you because anything you can do, they can do better. Which one would you rather hang out with? Well, the answer, none. They're all low value people. They're all terrible. The thing is, it's easier to spot these low value behaviors in others than it is to see them in ourselves. But chances are pretty good you've exhibited supplicative, combative, or competitive low value behaviors at some point in your life. We all have. In this value toolbox episode, we dig in to how you can identify and put a stop to those low value behaviors in order to stay the course towards becoming a high value individual. Do you find yourself primarily surrounded by people who are a pleasure to be around? Or do you look around sometimes at your circle of friends and wonder, man, am I the only one in this group who's not a jerk? Jim Rohn's doctrine says that we're the average of the five people with whom we spend the most time with. Perhaps the best place to begin is with ourselves. Are we positively influential in the lives of the people who choose to spend time with us? Or do we drag them down into a daily muck of our own design? In short, we are high value people or we are low value people. Like attracts like. High value individuals attract other high value individuals. So if we can start focusing on ourselves becoming high value and giving people value instead of taking value from them, we're going to start attracting better people. In order to understand the line between high value and low value, we really should explain what we mean by value. Value can be defined as three specific things. Attention, being of interest to others. Approval, being encouraged in our interests and endeavors. And acceptance, belonging to a certain tribe. With attention, a low value person might dive completely into narcissism and suffer whenever eyes aren't on them. A low value person on the other side of the spectrum might withdraw completely and shrink away from any scrap of attention that finds them. A high value person finds a balance somewhere in the middle, drawing attention by being the person others want to know better and not being too shy to show appreciation for that attention. Similarly, we can succumb to low value behaviors surrounding approval and acceptance, or we can find the healthier high value approach that connects us to others rather than driving them away. So let's talk about the four different types of behaviors that are all ways to seek attention, approval, and acceptance. The first three are low value behaviors, and the fourth is what we consider to be our goal, the high value behavior for which we should be striving. Supplicative. This is when we're practically begging to be liked. We cower in order to become smaller and non-threatening to those we aim too hard to please. And we're agreeable to a fault in order to qualify for scraps of attention, approval, and acceptance. Combative, almost the opposite of supplicative, this is when we're overly aggressive and hostile towards others as a way to demand attention, approval, and acceptance. Competitive, this conveys a judgmental angle from which we are constant state of trying to one-up others. We compare our own achievements against those of others as a way to show we deserve their attention, approval, and acceptance. And finally, cooperative. In contrast to the first three behaviors, which are all focused on taking attention from others, being cooperative generates attention, approval, and acceptance by first giving it to others. Acknowledgement, genuine compliments, positivity, taking interest in others, active listening, vulnerability, responsibility, honesty and motivation, support, encouragement are all ways to demonstrate this high value behavior. In future episodes, we will talk more about why attention, approval, and acceptance are so important to us as humans. Please hit that like button and subscribe to this channel so you never miss another tip, insight, or info that you can apply to your business and your life right away. Thanks so much for watching and have a great week. For more information, visit cleardigitalmedia.net. Clear Digital Media helps turn one-time visitors into lifetime patients.